Hello again everyone and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. Today we're going to take a closer look at Woodpecker's Easy Edge Corner Planes and how they work in your shop. We're going to answer some questions that we've had on social media. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our great videos right when they come out. And if you like what you see today, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Okay, let's get started. Now, one of the first things I'd like to tell you about on the Easy Edge is this is no longer part of the one-time tool program. This is now an always available permanent product. Now, for years, I've done this kind of edge treatment using a block plane, um, and it certainly works. The problem with using a block plane for easing that edge is that you never know exactly where you are on the angle. And if you're trying to hold the angle consistent, just by thinking that you're at 45, you're probably going to end up with something that looks okay, but it isn't going to be crisp. That's the difference with Easy Edge. We're going to get beautiful, crisp corners because it has a built-in 90-degree angle. So it's always sitting dead square on that corner as you make the cut. The other big difference is with the block plane, you have a shallow depth of cut, but it's always cutting. So to repeat that, all I, I'm just coming back and taking another cut. But I don't know how much I've taken off. With the Easy Edge, I just finished that cut. I haven't readjusted the nut yet. So when I go across here, I'm not taking a thing. It will not advance the cut until you move the cutter lower. A one area where that control depth of cut really shows up is when you're matching a profile on a corner. You can see that we have just an absolutely perfect match there between our end profile and our edge profile. Now another thing I'd like you to notice is that I'm making some of these cuts pushing the plane and some of them pulling the plane. It's very comfortable in either orientation and I'm just going whichever way the grain tells me to. Now, I showed you a little bit of work with the chamfer tool and another with the radius. There are actually four different profiles available. We have the chamfer, quarter inch radius, 3 16th, and eighth inch radius. A lot of folks opt to buy one body and for each blade that they have, but you don't have to. They're all exactly the same body. So if you want, you can buy one body and all four blades and just swap them out. Or another option, and this one's my favorite, that is to have my chamfer plane set up all the time, and then I have another body that I swap out the three radius profiles in. All right, let me show you how to change the cutters if you're swapping from one profile to another. Now, if you're used to righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, this is backwards. This is a left-hand thread, so you're going to turn it clockwise to take it off. And then there's a washer, two of those that are identical. This little bronze thrust washer, you want to make sure that that stays in the same location. On the other side, is, there's a spring. It can come out, but it generally doesn't. It'll usually stay put while you locate the washer onto the shaft first. Then we're going to start this on so that the, the spring is going to come against that washer, then about three tries, and I'll remember that it is a left-hand thread. We'll run that down pretty tight, put the other washer in, and now we're ready to put it back in the body. And you can do that without help, but it can be a little tricky. So in your kit, when you buy this, you're going to get this little plastic piece that is designed to compress that spring a little bit, get the washers all lined up so that you can slide it in just like that. Now we're gonna take the second half of the body, put that back on top. Now we'll just drop all the screws back in and tighten it up. There we go, ready to go back to work.
that's a pretty profile. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this deep dive. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our great videos right when they're released. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time on Deep Dive.